All right, so we got the new starter in, and this is actually significantly different than uh, the old one. Uh, unfortunately, the exact replacement was not available, and so we had to go with something that was similar. The alternators uh, specialist, the repair guys, they actually said that they've installed this exact starter on some of the other uh, 3204 engines. So let's take a look at the, the size difference and what uh, was there and what we're putting back in now, and then we'll go install it and give it a shot and do a, uh, an honest comparison and uh, see. So here's the other one hand comparison and from the side here it's actually pretty significant and weight is drastically less this one here I cannot pick up with one hand this one I can and uh, the new one here is a gear reduction they were saying so there is a, a reduction gear in here that actually gives it the same amount of torque here is the the part number 6600 n the wa um, let's go get this installed i didn't get very much footage of it getting out it was so tight in there i had very little room whatsoever but i will show you the shortcut um, on what i how i was able to get them out i actually had to go with a quarter inch uh, nut dry or a quarter inch um, socket set to get it out it was just i could not get a 3 8 inch socket set back in there uh, it's a 9 16 inch but uh, between i had to use three extensions and a swivel and a quarter inch but i'll show you that here in a little while and uh how i was able to get that out all right so i'm back at the truck with the starter and i'm going to show you how i got the uh the, the bottom and most left side uh bolt out so as this is sitting in the dozer if this is the engine this is sitting in there and this bolt is easy to get to from the top the bottom one that's underneath, if you take the belly pan off, it's easy to get to. But this one right here, that's the trouble one to get to. So what I ended up doing was took a quarter inch uh, extension and a 9 16 inch wrench or a, a socket. You're, I was able to sneak this up into there and with the 3 8 inch ratchet, I was able to get enough force on there. I actually had one more extension in here I don't have in here. So this was uh, back over here. Um, but I was able to get enough leverage on it with one more of these small extensions to get into here. And that was the only way that I could actually get to that bolt was with the swivel on the first one with a, about a 4 inch extension. Uh, quarter inch if I, when I went to three eighths here I couldn't get that angle in so that took a lot of trial uh, one guy I saw he uh, ended up cutting it off uh, one guy ended up cutting uh, wrenches apart um, this is the only way that I was able to find that to get it off in one piece without doing destruction and uh, it uh, it worked it was still a bear of a job it's not fun but uh, it's doable so good luck with yours.
All right, so I got the new uh, starter installed and it was actually, it probably took maybe five minutes to get the whole thing installed. It was actually a dream compared to the last one. Uh, let me show you how much room we have. I was able to get a 916th inch wrench here or socket. It comes in. The other one, the one that gave me so much issue is down here on this side. Uh, putting it back in, uh, I was able to get it in and tight. This model here doesn't have that big uh, start relay over here. Everything is done straight through here. It's a new design. So I'm going to have to get the, here's the, the white cable here, is my, um, the signal from the, uh, the ignition. And that is going to go right here to this terminal post. So if I were to jumper from here to the positive, the engine should start. Um, but drastically much more space. It used to come out all the way to out here. I could barely get my hand down in there. Well, thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe and put a comment down in the section below. And if you would, please visit our website www.honeyimhomestead.com for more up-to-date information and a list of all the projects that are going on. Thank you again and have a great day.